Hello, hello. See, my computer was very rebellious. <laughs> hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? We are worried for you. <laughs> no, I was I was uh, fighting with my computer and I was like, hey, come on. <laughs> and I was like clicking everything. And then she was like, I, I am very slow today. <laughs> I was fighting with her. They know we when, say, what happened when with you, teacher. You are hurried. Yeah, exactly like that. I always say that you never have to stress in front of a computer, a photocopy, a printer, because they feel it. They can smell it. Yeah, <laughs> never, never. In front of a camera, a cell phone, a computer, a printer, never feel stress in front of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. No les ha pasado nunca. I agree. Yeah. Nunca les ha pasado que les dicen, toma tú la foto. And then you are like, and your phone is not responding. It's so, so terrible. And you are like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. That's pretty sad. Well, so my dear students, welcome to another day, another class. Thank you very much for being here. And for sure, thank you very much for being on time, that it's the most important part of this. So today we have a, a session full of a, a, the platform. We're going to work a lot on it for us to check that everything is done and completed. So maybe if you have any question, if you feel that you are missing something, today we are going to work on that, okay? So as uh, people from INSA4 were mentioning that they need to receive the platform first because they need the certificates. And that is totally understandable because if not, your certificates are going to be until next year. And it takes a lot of time for that. So it is a huge process behind every single class, right? And I totally understand all these people from Insafor because it happens to me in the academy, right? That the teachers are like, eh, mira directora y las notas, mira los cuadros, mira los estudiantes, mira no sé qué, and you are like with everything <laughs> and you have to deal with everything. It is pretty difficult. But uh, we're going to work on that today. And uh, for sure, we are going to be working as well on uh, our topics of, of the night, right? It is pretty curious, but I am going to reinforce most of the things from the platform so you can actually understand, right? Durante estos días que nos quedan, yo igual les voy a reforzar eh, todos los temas de, lo, de las cuestiones de la plataforma, pueda que ustedes hayan hecho solo los ejercicios y, y está bien, es, es entendible por el tiempo tan corto que teníamos. Pero yo me voy a enfocar en ir reforzando cada uno de esos temas. Ok, so... Eh, Welcome to your class. Welcome to this day. And we are going to work today on what I was mentioning. So I am going to open first the attendance. So I can call the attendance in a moment while your friends finish connecting. Okay. So, okay. yes. Um, I, can, um, I don't know, Kim. Oh, um, open the camera. Is I is email. Sorry. Um, because um, because uh -huh. um, because because <laughs> and I am in the ¿Por qué, Rosita? ¿Por qué no puede? No, 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 no tienen misterio. Because uh, I recently uh, had uh, to hurry. ¿A what? Um, porque hace poco me operaron. Oh, ok. I had a surgery. I had a surgery recently. I, I or you can say, um, I recently, I recently, I recently had a had surgery. 
I will send it on the chat. I recently had a surgery. Okay. I recently had a surgery. I recently, I, I recently have um, had a surgery. A surgery. Um, Really? Oh my God, when? ¿Cuándo fue eso? Yeah, ah, the day that you were at the hospital, cuando estuviste en el hospital. Uh, no. Uh, I recently uh, 70. No. Ajá, uh -huh. quiero ver. 70 November. Ah, no. Ok, I was like, oh my God. Ok, so. Keep it, um, stay there, stay there, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Es que no, uh, Ajá. Uh, no ha cerrado del todo. I, I can, no. I can, no. I, I don't know, can. Uh, I can. Um, um, quiero ver. <laughs> Any any food? Oh, really? Oh my God! Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, my God. Well, Rosita, I am going to go in detail with your situation. It seems very difficult. My God. Se ve que esa cirugía le ha complicado un montón de cosas. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, you can eat any food. Oh my God. What are you doing? Only liquids or what? Más que todo, solo tengo que comer sancochado y sin grasa. Oh, my God. Only vegetables. Pure vegetables, pure fruits, pure things. So, uh -huh. it is going to be beneficial for you, for the baby, for everybody. So, uh, don't worry, Rosita. You can stay there in bed, but you can keep listening, okay? Okay, Rosita. Sorry, I am silencing everybody. Well, um... Attendance. Okay. I was going to call the attendance. Thank you, Rosita, for sharing with us about the problem. You have a stay there. I mean, the important thing is that you are always here. Como siempre les digo, lo importante es que estén presentes, lo importante es que estén aquí. Tal vez si están ocupados, no van a ser muy activos, pero siempre estén pendientes de lo que está pasando en la clase. Okay. So that is really, really important because later, you need the attendance, you need the percentage of the attendance. Necesitan el porcentaje siempre de la asistencia, right? So try to do it. Try to be constant. Try to stay here in class. And I am going to do my best to have you here on task, okay? So for everybody, I am going to call the attendance first and then we're going to go and finish the platform. Eh, Alejandra Cristina. Here. Thank you very much. Okay, let me just close this. And I will open the space. Okay, I can see you now. Good. And let's see. Okay, Alejandrita said yes. Astrid Michelle. Present teacher. Blanca Estela. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Thank you. Claudia y Annette. Claudita. Okay, Claudita maybe is on her way here. Ever de Jesús. Ever. Eh, Gabriel Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Gladys Imelda. Present teacher. Griselda Elizabeth. Yeah, I, I couldn't. Okay, very good. Gladys and Griselda. He, Jasmine, Vanessa? Jasmine? No, I need a Jasmine todavía. Okay, so Joaquin Ruperto. Present. Thank you, Jose Arturo. Present. 
José Manuel. Josué Isaías. Present teacher. Lilian Estela. Present. Luis Fernando. Present teacher. Luis Roberto. Madeline Gabriela. Manuel Aristides. Manuelito, no estamos. Olivia. Present teacher. Paula María. Present teacher. Rosa Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Walter René. Present. Jenny Maritza. Present teacher. And teacher not. Good. <laughs> Excellent. So is there anybody who entered after I called his or her name? Alguien que haya entrado después de que había llamado su nombre? No? I am teacher. Griselda. Let me see. Oh, yes. Excellent. Someone else? Luis Roberto. Here you are. And... I think only them. Okay. Well, in any case, people, just let me know and I am going to uh, fix up any, any detail that is missing. Well, so let's go here. We are going to work today, as I told you, on checking that everything on the platform is ready, right? Most of you have already advanced and finished the platform, right? ¿Quiénes ya completaron y terminaron todo? Mi teacher. Ok. One. I am in 5.5. Ok, you are in 5.5. Good. Who else? No. Only section 3. Only section 3. You have completed only section 3. Ok. So, what, uh, what, according to the message that we received today, we have to complete everything, right? We have to complete everything by Monday because they say that they need to send the... Teacher, yep. I have problem with one question at 5.5. Okay, that's why I wanted to go on this today. Yo dije, este día, no, vamos a parar todo lo que estamos y vamos a asegurarnos que todos terminemos y que todos avancemos. So... That was my, my point for today. So let's go here. You said that you have a problem with 5.5. So let's go to see it. Section 5, 5.5, okay. For sure, the after the... Section 4. Okay, we are going to go to all the sections. Very Don't difficult. <laughs> we, are, we are going to go to... Okay, Let's you know. Uh, section uh, four, section five, examen final. Okay. okay, so let's go and check everything, people. Let's go and check everything then. Vámonos en orden. Aquí vamos a trabajar en orden, mejor. Así si ha dejado alguno con eh, 70%, si alguno se les ha quedado con 60%, Si tienen algún problema que está en 80%, we are going to cover this, okay? So we are going to go from section one to section five, okay? So in the language check, si ustedes lo pueden ir haciendo al mismo tiempo que yo, se los recomendaría para que todos podamos lograrlo juntos. Si ya lo terminaron, pues pueden ir chequeando que todo haya quedado listo, okay? So that's a, a good advantage that we can do. Si no, si le falta de repente alguna sección, si le falta algún ejercicio, si le falta algún ítem, lo pueden ir llenando junto conmigo si tienen el chance. ¿Ok? Y si no, lo vamos a ir haciendo y ustedes pueden ver el video de nuevo para ir corroborando. ¿Ok? So, let's work. Let's work on this. In this one, we have a section number one. It was about uh, choosing, right? 
Select the best clause that matches with the statement. I don't have a partner. What is the best option for this one? Okay, is it? I don't want. I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person, right? I would like to meet people. These people have a good series of humor. Okay, I would like to meet people. Uh, these people have a good sense of humor. I would prefer a roommate. This person is quiet and considerate. This person is quiet and considerate. We did this in class. I don't like to be with people. I don't feel comfortable. I don't, on this I don't feel comfortable around, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to discuss my problems with friends. These people are people warm. Are warm and sensitive. I want to discuss my problems with friends. With uh, these people are warm and sensitive. I would rather have a boss. This person, this person has, has good leadership yeah. qualities. And I'll prefer to have teachers. These people are organized and intelligent. Organized and intelligent, right? So there you go, your 15 points. Make sure that you have all the answers ready and correct, right? In section one, you also have this type of personalities, right? And here you have, based on the previous audio that I think you already listened on 1.6, you have an audio here. Right. Did you listen to the audio? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you listen to the audio, you have an idea of which yes. statement best describes Andrea. The second one. Andrea, Andrea is, a... is someone who is egotistical and stingy. Yes. Yeah. Really? What a bad person Andrea is. Alex, which statement Alex. describes Jen? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> okay, uh, which statement describes Jim, James? Uh huh. James is? James is someone who is sociable and, and um, easygoing. Sociable and easygoing, right? Sociable and easygoing. And what about Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson, Johnson is someone, is someone with temper, who is temperate in the, in the, in the neighborhood. Okay, yeah. temperamental and unreliable. Reliable. Temperamental and unreliable. Reliable. Unreliable. And there you go. You have your three points ready. Also, in unit number one, you had the other exercise that we did in class. Right, we had this exercise in class as well, and we did it together. I remember. It says, eh, "I send it to you because this was giving you a lot of issues, right? With the clauses, I love it. I can stand it. Mm -hmm. I it makes me happy. It bothers me, or I don't like it. It embarrasses me. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me. It really upsets me, or I don't mind." Right, And I send you these options because it says, when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes, I love it when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. And I am going to show it to you complete for you to have it. In this one, you have a lot of options, right? But I got the most common ones. I got it doesn't and it, bother me when people call me, you know. Like, in the middle of the night, right? You have different options on this one. The first one, I got the most common one. I love it when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. Mayuscular principio, punto final, right? That is very important. It makes me happy, right? It makes me happy when, it makes me happy when people are direct and say what's on their mind, period, at the end, right? I love it when people call me late at night. N-I-G-H-T. That's another problem, right? Que ponen T-H. And I love it when a friend treats me to dinner, right? I sent you these answers on the chat, I remember. And most of them were done 
in a very simple way. You can use any of these ones, right? It is possible to make it with any of them. Mm -hmm. In some cases, it is complicated for the typing. A veces lo escribimos mal y ahí es donde nos sale mal. In this one, uh, the amazing world of apps. Here, before this one, on the video, you have the video about the apps, right? The amazing world of apps that it's a reading, right? It's a little reading and it has all the information about smartphones, about apps and uh, about games, right? So if you read the article, you are able to actually answer this exercise, right? And it says, according to the article, what are some common uses of apps? Five. And in this one, you have to choose, you have to choose different ones. Okay, find a new restaurant. Look at the, look at the restaurant menu. Look at the restaurant menu and check the weather. The weather. Okay. Con una aplicación no se puede pesar, así que esa no era posible. ¿Cuánto peso? <laughs> Alexa, ¿cuánto peso? <laughs> It's not possible, right? At the time in which the article was written, what was true about Angry Birds? It has been done. It has been done. million people. Imagine at the moment, at the moment, right? At the moment of, of this, right? Only this one. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. According to the article, why are apps so popular? Apps are popular apps because, are popular they, because popular they can be used almost anywhere. Almost anywhere. Okay. And in this one, apps are popular because Lady Gaga has her app. That's not a reason, right? And there you have the correct form. Only the first one has three options and this one, one and one. Okay. So that was section number one. Thank you. I listened to Kaiser. There you go. Section mm -hmm. number two. Yeah, sorry. Section number two. It is about, here you have it. In section number two, you have very few exercises. Only three exercises. Aquí solo teníamos tres ejercicios. Section number two, it says, it is not a man's job designing clothes. This is what we were studying some days before. Designing clothes is not a man's job. And it has very challenging taking care of children must be. Taking care taking, of children. Taking care exactly. Taking care of children, taking care of children must be. Very, very challenging challenging right challenging. here you have here you have the options right in this one you also have different options taking care of children must be very challenging that is the top one okay taking care of children must be very challenging it is the same and uh, with a small letter right It, the sentence is taking care of children must be very challenging. Sounds fascinating working on a movie set. Working on a movie set. Working on a movie set sounds fascinating, right? Working on a movie set sounds fascinating. Exactly like that. And the next one. Pretty difficult making a living an artist could be. Making a living oh, as an artist could be pretty difficult. Ok, en esa tenemos que tener mucho cuidado. El punto al final, la mayúscula al principio. Esos pueden ser los errores que a veces la plataforma no les acepte. Ok, you have to be very careful. And the last one sounds interesting. Working as an architect. Working as an architect. Sounds interesting. Interesting. interesting right interesting no right interesting. interesting and this one you say making a living as an artist could be very difficult wow. and here you have working on a movie set sounds fascinating right and in this one taking care of children must be very challenging 
And those are the sentences that you have. You click on submit and you have your sentences correct. Okay, so that is the most important thing. In this one, you have the next exercise. In the next mm -hmm. exercise, you have to choose one of the answers. And it says, an interior decorator, a fashion designer, paid. This is the comparative form. An interior decorator is better paid than. Recuérdense que en la forma comparativa llevamos el verbo to be, el adjetivo, el verbo y than, que es la forma comparativa. A secret agent, a police officer. Travel more than. Travels more than, right? A secret agent travels more than a police officer. Okay, in this case, you have the verb travels and the comparative travels more than an air traffic controller's job, a TV it's director's less, job. It's less artistic. It's less artistic. Landscapers. Landscapers. Have less education than. Has less have, education than. Okay, have, because landscapers are plural, have right? Have less education than. Exactly like that. Working as a comedian. Is harder than being. Harder than. Is being. harder than being a public speaker. Aerobic instructors. Earn less earn than. Less than. Earn less than. Cuando ocupamos la palabra than, ocupamos la forma comparativa, right? Earn less than. And there you have it. You have a complete exercise, okay? And in section number two, you have only one more exercise about summer jobs, right? Summer jobs. In this case, we have a, a little audio, right? We have a little audio about summer jobs. And I think it is very short. Let me just see. So it's two minutes. And let me just share me my audio so we can actually pay attention to this one and listen. By the okay. end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to descriptions. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff oh. for the chef. Vegetables oh. and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. Okay, so we have three different types of job. What kind of job does Carlos do? Tutor for, for kids. kids. He's a tutor for kids. What about Julia? 
Telemarketing. Telemarketing agent, right? Agent. Good evening. This is Nati from English Corporativo. How can I help you? <laughs> what kind of job does Paul do? Chef chef assistant. Assistant. He's a chef assistant. And who doesn't like the job and why? Paul doesn't oh, like it. Paul doesn't 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 like it. We can do chicken tamales. <laughs> Esto sabe como cemento. <laughs> if you do a kitchen tamal, you're like, ah, un pedazo de teja, mira. <laughs> no. So it is chicken, chicken tamales, right? So these were the exercises for number two. Section number three, right? Section number three. It was uh, related to this one. And we also have three exercises in section number three, right? In section number three, we have the models. In the models, you use phrases like, could you, is it okay if, would you mind, right? And you use also if clauses and gerund phrases. It says, you want to borrow your coworkers underwater camera. I was wondering, if you would mind lending me your underwater camera. This is a very American form. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in the United States, you are very polite when asking for things. Algo que tiene el inglés es que es muy amable, right? En el español es, dame la cámara. <laughs> dame tu cámara esa del de que toma fotos bajo el agua. Dámela. Like, Por favor, gracias, qué amable. And in English, it's like, Mira, no sé, ¿te importaría prestármela por unos días? Yo prometo devolverla eh, intacta. Si quieres, te, te la puedo rentar. So, in English, it's very polite. English is a very good and polite language, right? So, it says, eh, do not write the whole request, only the completion, right? Y este fue uno de los problemas más grandes, que todos querían escribir toda la oración. And you don't have to write everything. You need to have only the little command, right? Only the little part. And I send you this okay. one, right? You want to use your roommate's computer. Is it okay? Y en la respuesta solo tenemos que poner. If I, use. if I use your computer. That was the only answer that you needed, right? Pero habían algunos que de repente me mandaban un screen donde ponían is it okay if I use your computer no me la agarra teacher and I was like only this phrase right only this phrase that was the only thing what about the next one giving me a right to work giving me a right, giving to, me work. A right to work a right would to you work. like for your neighbor to give you a right to work would you mind giving me a right to work and uh, let me just give me just Okay, and the next one, you want a friend to help you move on Saturday. Could you help, help me, me move, move on, on Saturday. Saturday? Help me move on Saturday? Would you would like your aunt to give you a second piece of pie? I was wondering if you would mind giving me a second piece of pie. A second piece of Pie, pie, pie. Pie es el que tenemos en la parte. Pie. 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 Giving me a second piece of pie. Only yeah. these phrases were the only ones that you need to include, right? No more. No more. In this one, it was about favors, right? And you have a listening. Did you have the chance to listen to this one? Yes. Okay. No. You didn't listen to it. So maybe that's why we couldn't answer. Let's see. I think it is very short as well. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you have okay. three requests and identify whether the person. Okay. mind lending me your camera for Tina. Listen. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? 
Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. <laughs> My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <laughs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly, my bird. Oh yeah, I forgot your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and. No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you. I promise. So. Here, what does Tina want to borrow from Robert? The camera. The camera, the bread maker, or the bird? The camera, the right? The camera. What does Kyle want to borrow from Maggie? A bread, a bread maker. maker. A, bread maker. A, bread maker. A, bread maker. a bread maker. And the last one, what kind of favor does Phil want? Phil wants to take care of his bird while he is away. Imagine if they say like, "Could you take care of my of my guacamaya while I am?" <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much. I will, I will do it. Yo lo haría. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Si se la come la quiera, sorry, I will say. But yes. Okay, so in this one, all the favors, right? And I have it here, and you submit it, right? Good, very good. So in this one, we go to the last exercise of the section and in this one we have indirect request this was another one that i was helping you with and i sent you the answers right how many friends can i bring to this party tony how many friends can i bring to the party and in this one it says only complete the missing words mm -hmm. this was another one that the problem was that you were writing everything right Aquí el problema era que estábamos escribiendo todo, 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 todo. And it is not like that. It was just a piece of the answer, right? So in this one, here we have, how many friends can I bring to his body? And it says, Tony, you ask Tony, right? Es solo esto teníamos que poner, no teníamos que poner nada más. Could you ask Tony? Could you ask Tony, how many friends can I bring to the party? Le podrías preguntar, could you ask, right? Could you ask Sofia, are you going to the party with Jeff? If she is could going, ask, going to with Jeff. If she is going, if she is going to the party with Jeff, right? And the next one, whether or not he accepted the invitation to Tony's party. Could Kevin, you did Kevin? you accept? Could you ask could you Kevin? Ask Kevin, right? Could you ask Kevin? And the next one, could you ask Mario? Mario, are you going to give Tony a gift? Could you ask Mario if he's going to give Tony Okay, if he's going to give. If he's going to giving? No, y ahí le va a dar problemas siempre la plataforma. If he's going to give Tony a gift, y el question mark, okay? El signo de pregunta en esta al final, it's very important. And also on the second, right? Solo dos llevan signo de pregunta al final y las otras dos son could. Okay? And that was the section about, right? Could you ask Tony if she's going to go to the party eh, with Jeff? Could you ask Kevin if she's going to give Tony a gift? This is the form. And many of you had issues with it. Este pobre 3.12 sí que le dio 
guerra a bastantes. So, in this one, you have the midterm evaluations. These ones are mainly a review, okay? Casi todos estos ejercicios son una review de lo que ya habíamos visto, right? In this one, you have different uh, personality traits, right? Is completely honest and gives helpful advice. And here are the ones from the listening. We have four different people. Let's go over this one. Let's see. Hey. Enfrente de los niños. Me Give you a zoom. There you go. Units one to two quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Thomas. Hi, Bill. Hey, I haven't seen you since you went off to art school. How do you like it? School's great. I have this fantastic painting teacher, Mr. Parks, who is so cool. What do you like about him? Well, he's the kind of teacher who is completely honest in his opinion of our work. And Mr. when he Parks. criticizes us, he always includes some helpful advice. He sounds like a great teacher. Two. What's wrong, Shelley? Well, Martin, I sent a close friend a birthday present two months ago, and she's never thanked me for it. She lives in Germany now, but she should have already received my present. Oh, she probably just hasn't had a chance to write you yet. Hmm. You know, it bothers me, too, when people forget to say thank you. Maybe there's a good reason why she forgot. Why don't you just email her and find out? Why didn't I think of that? I'll do it tonight. Three. Paula, did you find a job for the summer yet? Actually, I found a couple of them, Billy. I just have to decide which one to take. My uncle owns a summer camp, and he said I could spend the summer working as a lifeguard for him. And what's the other one? Well, working as an extra in a new movie. No, you're kidding. It's true. I have a friend who knows the director. I'd really love to be in a movie. So would I. Could I go to the audition, too? Four. Morning, Caroline. What are you doing? I'm looking for a part-time job for winter break. Anything interesting in the paper? Yeah, one sounds pretty good. They're looking for a ski instructor during December. Hey, you're an excellent teacher. You taught me how to ski. Well, yes, but here's another job. It's for a sales clerk position in the ski shop. Oh, but that isn't as interesting and fun. You're right. And the instructor's job is better paid than the sales job. So it's a no-brainer. This one we have that Mr. Parks is completely honest, right? Uh, when people forget to say thank you, makes uh, Shelly and Martin bothered. Bill and Paula would love being an extra in a movie. And Carolyn wants to apply for the ski instructor position right? This was about the audio. And this was the first exam. The next one, you say, choose the correct word. I will prefer a boss who I can do my best for her. I prefer an, an organization. Organized. 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 Boss. 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 Who I can do my best for her. Yeah. Patty is a or an person who never uh, brags about yes. her grades. Modest. Person Very who good. Never brags about her grade. Very good job. Or coach can stand. <laughs> or, or coach can stand ego, egoistical. Egotistical, right? Yeah, Egotistical. 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 Egotistical, like, are the ones that are like, oh, Egotistical. yeah, me, I am the best. Okay, Egotistical players. I don't want to work with a difficult person. This person is? Unreliable. Unreliable, unreliable right? Because it's a difficult person. You cannot trust him or her, right? Very good job. 
What about the next one? Here you have the next one. Put the words in order. This is the same exercise that we did before, right? Mm -hmm. Minds uh, forgets when name don't someone eat. I might. I don't and mind. Says, I don't mind. When someone, when someone forgets. I don't mind when someone forgets my name, right? I don't mind. I don't mind when someone forgets my name. Right, that's the way it is. I don't mind when someone forgets my name. And here you go. When late, can appointments for it people stand art? I can't okay. stand when I can stand oh, it. Appointment. I can stand it when people are late for are appointments. At that point. I can stand it when people are late for appointments, right? Appointments double P right and the s at the end friends uh, me happy out it lunch makes me a take two it makes me happy, happy. it yeah. makes me happy yeah. when a friend yeah. takes me out to lunch yeah. right and the period el punto al final nunca se los olvide and there you go it makes me happy when a friend takes me out for lunch what about the next one about gerund phrases Seems exciting. I've always been interested in design. Working, working as, a, as an architect. Working as an architect. Cheryl wouldn't like for a school paper. Writing, Writing a, a gossip column. Writing a gossip column, right? Una columna de chambre, chisme, right? You have saved 25% of your salary all your life. Now it's time to have some fun. At age 15. Retiring, retiring at age 50 sounds exciting, right? Retiring at age 50 sounds exciting. What about the next one? Here we have the next one. In this exercise, we have to choose the correct comparative, right? An aerobic instructor probably earns as, as, much, as, as, much, as. as much as, tanto como. A tennis coach. Mm -hmm. A web designer has better hours. Better hours than better hours than an international TV journalist. The next one. Uh, psychiatrists are often better, better educated, educated than better educated than politicians, right? The next one. Working as a comedian is less interested than. Less interesting than being a movie actor. Movie actor. Being a movie actor. Very good job. And here you submit it. And that was the exam. Here we have the last one and the next one, right? The ups and downs of being a pilot. And in this case, it's a, a little reading, right? And in this little reading of the newspaper, right? Let me just make it a little bit bigger for you. Sorry. And it says, read the newspaper article, then check three statements that are true. In number this one, one. Number, one. number one is true. Number four. Number and four. four. And number six. six. Not all the aspects of pilot's job are interesting, right? Not all of them are interesting. One of the worst things for the pilot is the lack of space in the cockpit. It is very small in there. The pilot is responsible for everybody's life. Yes. Poor pilot. Yo de veras los admiro mucho. It is a very, very hard job. And here, I think it's the next section, right? And that was section three, right? Here, in section four, you only have three, no, two exercises. Three, you have three exercises. In section four, it says, hit the jackpot. Complete the news story using the past continuous and the simple past of the verb given. While drivers were working. Were working. Exactly. Okay, in this case, 
El past continuous y en el simple past. El past continuous es una acción que interrumpe la, uh, la acción del pasado. Okay? I was cooking when you called me. Right? El simple past interrumpe la acción que está pasando en ese momento. Okay? So in this case, we're working. Right? While drivers were working off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million, right? Cuando ellos estaban trabajando, descubrieron el oro, right? Una acción estaba pasando y otra vino y le, la interrumpió. They discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million. Discovered. Discovered, right? Discovered. And the next one, the, the divers, we're the filming. divers were, we're filming, filming. We're filming a show about the coral when they found gold. Aquí si se fijan, cuando está la palabra when, es porque es past continuous. Past continuous porque el siguiente es past simple. Because something was happening when the other one interrupted. Right? That is something that you need to keep in mind, right? That is the difference between simple past. That is the difference between simple past and past continuous. In this ¿Dónde? one, it, sorry? En el anterior hay dos partes. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This one. Here, the four-leg customers. As a woman was walking, was you have... Walking was walking with her pet poodle down the street, a hairstylist noticed. noticed them through the window. Later, while he okay. was, creating was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats. Come up he with. came up, right, he with. came up with. 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 Okay. Came up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair. Today. Yeah, hasta los animales tienen malos días con su pelo. In this one, here we have the news broadcast. Here we have a story, right? Did you have the chance to check the story? Yes. ¿Ya vieron la historia? Where did the story happen, people? In Thailand. In Thailand. And what happened on the first story? A man was almost killed by a snake. A man was almost strangled to death by a snake. Sorry. Uh, the next one. Where did the second story happen? In Australia. In Australia, right? What happened on the second story? Two teenage girls. Who disappear? Who Were found. Where did the third story happen? In Hollywood, California. In Hollywood, California. And what happened? The two police officers were rescued by the thief they were chasing. Lo rescató el ladrón que iban siguiendo. So that was that. That is a very nice story. I saw it already. Right, and here we go. Here we go. Let's see. On this one, on the knowledge check. Here, this is the last exercise, and it is about simple past and past continuous. And here we have while, right? A thief broke into, broke into right? Porque no tenemos when. This is while. They mm -hmm. broke into. Se metió, broke into, here. And I guess we had left. left. Habíamos left. dejado. Had right? left. Habíamos dejado. We had left the door unlocked. I was yes. shopping. Had left. I oh. was shopping with some friends, right? I had left. I was shopping. Luckily, I had given. Had given. Yo, had yo given. le había dado. Had given. Okay. Yo le había dado una copia a un amigo. I had given. I was driving around with a friend all day on Sunday and I ran out. I ran out of gas on the freeway. 
And luckily, I had brought. Uh, well, gracias uh, a Dios, uh, había traído mi teléfono, right? So those are the options for this one. And let's see, I have here, I think this is the last one for number four, okay? And we are going to have the time, perfect time, for number five, okay? Si hay algo que me gusta es que cabalito sale el tiempo. I love that. It says, number five, exercise five and the last one. And it says, make sure the punctuation and the spelling is correct. Put the words in order to make sentences about living abroad. One thing I will be excited by is trying the local is food. Is trying the local food, right? So you have here, is trying the local food, period. Will be the most curious about thing I is meeting people my age. The thing it will be the ah, The thing I would be the most curious about is meeting people my age, right? Not understanding the language. Mm -hmm. Something I will be anxious about is something, something I'll be anxious. Something I will be anxious about yeah. is is not understanding the language, right? Something I will be anxious about, okay? And in this one, we have one of the last exercises for section five. If you plan to visit someone at home. You're supposed to call first. You are supposed to call first. If not, you are going to go there and the lady in camisón and chancla, right? Mm -hmm. Ay, no me avisó, que no... So you have to call first. Here in El Salvador, they don't do it, right? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you have like, buenas is in cena, right? They just appear. If you have been to a friend's home for dinner, it's custom to call and thank him or her. It is custom to call and thank him or her. Si has estado, si has ido a cenar a la casa de un amigo. When you have invited, when you have been invited to a wedding, you are expect to respond in writing. You are we are expected to respond in writing. You have the R S P B, right? Reserve si vous plaît. Please confirm, right? You are expected to respond in writing. When you go on a date, it's accepted to share the expenses. It is acceptable to share the expenses, right? If the service in a restaurant is good, you are expected to leave a tip. You are expected to leave a tip. A tip is una propina, right? Mm -hmm. When you meet someone for the first time, you are supposed <laughs> to kiss him or her. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. Mwah. No, right? <laughs> it is not possible. You are not supposed to kiss him or her, right? So that is some of the most common traditions that people have in the United States and Canada. So people here, the only thing that you are missing are the final evaluations. And in this one, you have a listening, right? You have a listening. You also have some requests. These are the same that we have been uh, checking on, right? Uh, you want a friend to lend you a laptop for the weekend. Could I borrow your laptop? Will it be okay if I use your cell phone? Uh, I was wondering if you would mind lending me your newspaper. newspaper. Lending me your newspaper, right? Mm -hmm. And in this one, you have to choose the correct phrase the correct phrase for this one and right now due to the time i am going to show you the answer could you tell math the akiko can come to class tomorrow can you ask david whether or not he wants to study together and can you tell harriet not to be late for class on monday right and in this one you have to complete the story using past continuous or past perfect exactly as we were doing 
before. And in this one, you have to choose only the word. For got. number one, got. The next got. one, stepped, con double P, mm -hmm. was playing, and was playing. had not put. Okay? And in the last one, you have to read the stories, right? You have to read the stories, and you have to choose the correct title. What is the correct title for them? For it's still a mystery. For story number one, it is still a mystery. For number two, what a terrible misfortune. Yeah, a terrible and for number three, emergency. emergency. Okay, so my dear people, this was the platform. These were the exercises. And for sure, I think this one was the only one that I didn't show you the answers, but I am going to show them to you. So you can go and check. And if you have any, any doubt still, you can let me know, okay? Just make sure. If you have any question, you can come back to the video and check the answers, okay? Thank you a lot, teacher. Don't worry. It was my pleasure to help you. Thank you much, my dear class. I have to leave you right now because I have the second class waiting for me. Finish working. You have all the exercises solved and I save your day. Okay. Tienen todos los ejercicios. Si tienen alguna duda, el video va a estar ya disponible en un ratito. Y pues, you can check it out. Have a beautiful night. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.